guys, it is me, Life Simmer, and welcome back to The Sims 3 Showtime LP. Currently, Trey is uh, playing some tracks. Now, when I first thought he had a performance, I was like, all right, he's a magician. He's going to do some magic, right? Oh, no. They wanted him to actually DJ here, which I thought was pretty neat. So here he is DJ, DJing. Can't speak, but here he is DJing at... Um, at the, oh my gosh, look at look at the people on stage. This is freaking awesome. I'm really impressed with this. She's kind of hot. Damn. <laughs> I'm really impressed. Very, very impressed. Look at them all dancing. Look at look at this guy right here. <laughs> like a mask on. All right. So if I do say so myself, I am pretty impressed. And they want us to actually uh, play some funk. So uh, let's go ahead and change it over to some funk music. We're going to go ahead and make a groove as well. Which when you make a groove, people actually come and dance. I'm really impressed with this. This is really, really awesome. All right. Uh, so Trey's going to do his thing over here. And we're actually here at home with Naomi, which I did give her a little bit of a makeover. And uh, she wants to marry Javid. Apparently, she actually wants to marry him. Um, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm kind of thinking along the lines of something a little bit more insane. Which I think we might do. Um, so, I, I, I think we're going to do it. What I'm going to do is we're going to go to bed. Uh, let's see, Portia, everybody's about going to, okay, well, nice flippers, but everybody's going to bed right now, and uh, once Trey gets home, I'm going to have him head to bed. I guess we might as well finish up his performance, right? He's doing such a good job. Like, look how awesome. And that's the end of his performance. He did awesome, though. I'm like, I'm really impressed. Okay. Thanks, DJ. You must be the mayor of Spin City. <laughs> Get it? Okay. Oh, and Javid's actually here. Javid was dancing. But uh, Trey's going to go ahead and head home now. He's going to go to sleep. And in the morning, we're going to do something, I would say, pretty crazy for Naomi. So I will see you all then. Alrighty, everybody. And it is now morning time. And as you can see, Trey is in a horrible, horrible mood because he has been cursed and he's just not in a good mood. So let's go ahead and bring that up uh, by starting off the day with some ice cream. What's better than that? Nothing. Um... Oh, and it's time for Portia to go to school, so good luck with that. And look at Mariah's little baby bump. Is that not the cutest? I'm in love with it. Look at her. So cute. Pregnant Mariah. Okay, you're not... No, you're not about to go have a drink. You're pregnant. You're not going to have a drink. In fact, how about we clean these up? And we actually need to build a good relation... Okay, come on now. Stop it. Stop it. Be nice to her. But like you were saying, I actually want to go ahead and... I get a better relationship with the new butler because, you know, you have to maintain a good relationship with them without them pretty much just ditching you. <laughs> so that's one thing we need to do. I actually changed uh, some of Naomi's outfits like I told you guys. So here's one of them. This is her outerwear. Oh, and she's awake. What is she going to come do to us? Oh, she's going to start a water balloon fight. Oh, Trey's going to start a water balloon fight with her. How about you let her do her job? We're going to pull a coin from her ear, actually. She's 
probably like, you smell, get away from me. <laughs> She's just clapping like, yes, yes. Alrighty, so we're going to go ahead and go over here and actually take a shower because we smell this morning. And um, turn the music on on the toilet and use it. Actually, we'll go ahead and you can have some ice cream after you do this. Hold on. Go ahead and set it to auto and then use the toilet. And then we're going to go downstairs. So every time you pee, beautiful music plays. It's it's great. It sims one music, which is all the better. He didn't even shower. Take your shower afterwards. And then he is going to go ahead and, let's see, eat some banana cr Actually, he wanted ice cream this morning, didn't he? So he's going to have uh, some of this ice cream, I guess. And one thing I actually wanted to do with Naomi is go ahead and get her another genie. Now, I know what you guys are thinking. We already have um, Cindy. Why would we need another genie? And the reason I want to do it is because last time, first off, last time we used it on money, simoleons, which we don't really need anymore. We also used it on Rich Rich Mon, which was a blow. And then we used our other one to free... Um, to free Cindy. So it's like, why not go ahead and get her another one and maybe the whole household kind of split it up and use it for, for different reasons. So, that's so what I'm going to go ahead and do. We're going to get another genie. I know you guys are thinking, what? But yeah, I think another genie is what I want to do. So, where is it? It's under 30,000 right here. Dusty old lamp. So we used Mariah's lifetime reward points, which obviously means she's definitely going to get something out of this. So we're going to go ahead and clean the lamp now. Blah, blah. All right, so we're going to go ahead and use the dusty old lamp. All right, in here, where's, where is he? Or she. Oh, there she is. Eun she, she looks exactly like Cindy. Uh, Eunice, I think her name is. So we're going to go over here and actually make a wish. Now, there's quite a bit that we can actually wish for. And one thing I do want to wish for is actually a large family, but not for Mariah, but for Naomi. So she can have the kids that she deserves and all of that. Because she does deserve a family. She deserves a life and... I feel like that's that's the one I want to use for her is having a large family. Um, we could also have Cindy go ahead and wish for love. Um, you know, she wouldn't have to look no further. Just pick somebody that she likes and have, you know, love that she deserves. And let's see. And other than that, I will leave the last one up to you guys. Should we maybe... I don't know. Maybe wish for more wishes? We can possibly try. We might. But uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and first off have Naomi go ahead and wish for a large family. And I'm pretty sure that the way that this works is actually... Oh, can we not do it because it's not ours? Oh, I'll be so mad. No, I think Mariah just has to put her back in the dusty old lamp. And then somebody else can uh, go ahead and shake it. I hope so anyways. Be a little disappointed if it doesn't work that way. Yeah, there we go. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, no. So only Mariah can do it, which I mean, I guess it's still okay. Oh, gosh. Okay, no, stop. I guess it's still okay, even though it's not exactly how I wanted it to go. We could still use it for Mariah, I suppose, and use things a little bit differently. That sucks. Oh, well, though. Let's see. How close is Naomi? 20,000, so she's rather close. And how about Cindy? 13,000. She's a little farther away, but we'll get there. I just want to make, definitely, definitely want to make sure that Naomi gets it once more. So she's really close, so she'll definitely get the, she'll definitely get it. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and wish for, she pretty much has everything, but we're going to go ahead and wish for a large family. Which she's already pregnant, so it's kind of like... Maybe the next time we try for a baby, we'll get a large family. All right, so let's go ahead and read about this. Okay, the genie informed Mariah that she can now expect a household full of children. 
Okay, yeah, they have gigs today. But the thing about it is pretty much like, I, I'm pretty sure her pregnancy right now, she won't have triplets, but her next one, she will. So, yeah, it's, it's pretty interesting if you ask me. So she should expect uh, triplets on her next pregnancy. I'll be kind of shocked if she has it this pregnancy, in all honesty. All right, where's Eugene or Eunice or whatever her name is? I don't even know. Let's see. All right, so we're gonna return her to her lamp actually really quickly, so she can kind of rest up. Oh no 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 no! Don't don't summon the genie! Don't summon the genie! Let her be! Let her be! So she should have her baby actually in this part. But what I wanted to do with Naomi is go ahead and have her, you know, wish for the large life and or the large family and yeah. But we're gonna go ahead and invite over Javid actually. And Cindy is going to invite over. Sure, I'll come over in a little while. Well, thank you. Uh, she's going to... I don't know. I don't, I just, I don't know with her. Not, I don't know yet. But I'm actually going to have her go come friends with the butler. So the butler doesn't feel like she's unwelcomed. I mean, obviously she's not feeling unwelcomed if she's laying down in Cindy's bed reading a book. So what we're going to do is... Uh, make a silly face um show her a funny video just kind of get to know her a little bit uh, so she feels welcomed here you know what i mean so get to know her and compliment her personality and her appearance why not i like how they're like in porsche's room probably like searching her history or her trays over here like chatting to all her friends while she's at school actually she's about to get out of school so trey if you want to live I would highly recommend getting out of there. And he's actually going to come over here and, like, hug his wife and everything. Because they're kind of feeling down right now, so why not? He's feeling a little antisocial, so... Might as well. <gasps> we should send Portia to military school. I know she's already pretty close to graduating. Just six more days. <gasps> Let's send her to military school. <laughs> I think this is an awesome idea. I think I'm going to send her to military school. Because she, like, cursed Trey and everything. He's like, oh, no, I'm getting her back. She's going to military school. I don't know. I might do that. But then at the same time, I want her to stay home and... Work on her guitar skill. All right, where's uh, Naomi? Where's Javid? Is he at the gate? Yep, yes he is. Uh, so let's go ahead and come over here. And she actually wants to mooch uh, a few simoleons off him, which I think we could definitely do. And she also wants to go watch a movie. So I think these are two things that we can do on our date. So the first thing we're going to do is, I guess, come say hello to him. Let him in. Or not. Oh, what a Okay, yeah, we're gonna come say hello. And then we're gonna go ahead and mooch a large amount of simoleons off him. Oh. All right, so we got nine simoleons off him. Thanks so much. That's exactly what we've needed. Um, so we're going to go ahead and enthuse about the wedding because she's obviously super excited. Um, and I guess we're going to go see a movie. I think they start at 5 p.m. actually. Oh, and we have a show today. Uh oh Maybe we can't go to the movies today. We might have to go tomorrow because I'm pretty sure. Yeah, the next show is at 5 p.m. And our gig is at 7 p.m. So, yeah, it's probably not the smartest thing to do. <laughs> um, so, never mind. I guess we can't go to the movies tonight. We'll go tomorrow night. But what we'll do is go ahead and uh, ask to go skinny dipping, I guess. It's probably like these old balls. You want them in there? Yes. Naomi has mooched a nine simoleons from Javid. That's all I've ever wanted. Uh-oh. I don't think she's going to skinny dip. I only think he is. We actually need to teach Portia how to drive, but, like, nobody's willing to teach her how to drive. <laughs> and that's the problem. Who's Sloppy Jalapo? I think it's, um... 
I think it's Javid's. I thought we were dealing with a rich man. I have to make him Girl. rich. But then again, we kind of already have the house of our dreams. Should I even have Naomi go through with this? Probably not. But, um, you know, it's a, it's a story plot. And she should be having her baby pretty soon. I'm excited for her to have her baby. I don't know why. All right. Her gigs are not... She'll, she won't be pregnant by the time she has uh, all this going on. But let's see. Trey, I, I wanted him to go get a magician gig, but apparently he's... Oh, he has one tonight, too, doesn't he? At 7 p.m. Cool. At the Verde Festival Ground. A uh, part thing, majig. Oh, come on. Why do these two never get along? Okay, Cindy's actually naked in here. Cindy, why? Just why? She's like, I just feel like getting naked right now for Javid. Um, but we're going to come over here to Debra, and we're going to go ahead and... Uh, Tell her a funny story and go ahead and once again chat with her maybe and get to know her. Hmm. All right. And remember, in two hours, Naomi the Bending Duchess has a gig at the Binder Clips uh, Center and Trey has his as well. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is actually have them both head there. Uh, just so. Okay. And it is a magician gig. Thank goodness. So yeah, they're going to go ahead and head there now. Naomi Bender has chosen to go somewhere without her group. Do you want her to continue? Yes. Also, about my current household, unfortunately, it's going to come tomorrow, Friday, because I played it today, and I was like, yep, I'm ready to film this, and then power outage, and I lost everything. Oh my gosh, the baby is coming. Okay, Trey, you gotta go. You have to go. Naomi, you too. I am sorry that I'm doing this to you, girl. But you got to go. <laughs> Naomi, go ahead and go to your gig location. Trey, continue. Is he... Tell me he's gonna leave. I just want to make sure. Just trying to make sure. Okay, he's leaving. All right, Mariah. It's time to sit back and... I like how poor is like, I don't know what to do, Mom. And Davide's just like, hold on, I'll play some guitar music to help the baby come out. Javi's just like, hold on. I'll make this moment all the better. <laughs> I love this. Um, I guess we should go to the hospital, but I don't want Trey to leave, <laughs> if that makes any sense. I don't want him to leave his performance just because she's going into birth, which I mean, I know that's pretty freaking important, but then at the same time, I'm like, no, no, you, you go do your show, Trey. You don't bother here. Uh, so let's see. Let's head over here and set up. Uh, we'll create a custom setup. Um, and Naomi for her setup. I mean, we've done so many of these that it doesn't even matter anymore. We don't have a saved setup. Um, we'll use the venue setup for this one because it's not even that important. Uh, Trey, I do want to set his up because he hasn't performed in quite some time. Naomi does them, like, all the time. Um, and Mariah's off to the hospital. <laughs> She's like, okay, I guess I'm doing this alone. I'm sorry, Mariah. I really am so sorry. But yeah, she's off. She's off to do her thing. She actually needs to start doing some gigs herself so she can get her final promotion. Okay, so really, really quickly, we just need to go ahead and set up Trey's stage. Look how little this stage is compared to the ones we're working with now. The other ones are still super tiny, but not as tiny as this one. So what we're going to go ahead and do, um, we're just going to give him the classic magician theme. Because uh, he is performing at Verde Park. It's not like he's performing somewhere crazy. So we'll go ahead and give him like the... The little star and little signs like this. Um, oh, actually, I really love these. So, hold on. Maybe if I can move these up a little bit. It would make it all the better. Like, right... Uh, oops, 
No, come on. This object is not in use by Traderan. My game is pissing me off today. Um, first the power outage, now this. And then we'll do kind of like these flying backdrops of the cards flying and the birds flying. All right. The stages piss me off so much. Okay, that looks hideous, but it will do. Doesn't have to be awesome. All right, Trey, do your thing. Naomi is off doing hers, and I guess Trey's going to start his. Um, even though, like, nobody's here. Someone around town has been spreading a rumor that Mariah Duran has been arrested. Who would do that? She's in the middle of having a child, and she's getting rumors that she's getting arrested. Are you kidding me? All right, congratulations on a new baby boy. Okay, so we will be able to choose his two traits, but what to name him? Trey and Mariah. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, so the name that I went with is Owen. Owen Duran. I just think it's cute. And I'm going to make him. Typically, I just randomize the traits, but I actually think I'm going to make him insane. And a little neurotic. Oh my gosh, okay. I think this actually worked for this pregnancy. Uh-oh. <laughs> I think the genie, I, I thought we had to get pregnant again, but apparently, I think we're getting triplets right now. All right, and the other boy name I picked is Nathan. And we're going to go ahead and make him clumsy and a slob. I love how there's just a random baby right here. And finally, a baby girl. Oh my goodness, I was not expecting this to be the triplets. I thought we were going to have to have another pregnancy, but apparently and the not. The final baby name that I went ahead and came up with is Charlotte. I like that name, Charlotte. I think it's pretty. We can name her Char... Or, you know, nickname her Char-Char or Char-Char. Not Char-Char. Char-Char. Um, or Char. Or Let. I don't know. But uh, she's going to be Vertuso and... Um, Vertuso and I'm going to say Artistic. I don't know how the hell she's going to get all these babies home by herself. Like, I'm curious to know. What is she about to do? Okay, they're giving her the, the little baby basket. Holy crap. I was not expecting triplets. I was expecting to have another pregnancy. I don't even know what to do. Our household is completely full now. Um, obviously, people need to move out now. This is insane. Um... So, yeah, this is definitely saying, hi, you have to get a kick on everybody's lives now. Because now there's triplets in the household. Two boys, one girl. So it's Owen, Nathan, and Charlotte. I like those names. Charlotte Doran, Nathan Doran, and Owen Doran. And Portia Doran. Even though, um, I don't know how she got that last name. Because I'm pretty sure that Mariah had her before they even got married. I don't know. Yeah, there's a lot of Dorans here. <laughs> um, now, it's up to Naomi and Cindy to kind of figure out what they're going to do. I mean, it's up to me, obviously, but I'm just not sure what I want to do with them because I really do love them. But then again, Naomi's at the end of her career. She's pretty much mastered it. But I still want her to find love, so that's going to be pretty much the whole next part. Cindy, I love her. She's like my my girl. But at the same time, I... I don't know, I kind of want her to go with Naomi, even though they're not really good friends. But she's really, really good friends with Mariah and really good friends with Trey. So it's almost like she should stay. I just don't know. But look at them, like, jamming out to Javid's music. They're just loving it. But I am going to go ahead and end this part here. Tomorrow, Friday, expect the current household in another episode of Showtime. Showtime has to end before Tuesday, so a lot of episodes of Showtime will be coming. And Generation will kind of be on the back burner until uh, Tuesday. I'll probably still upload it, but not as much as I will be uploading Showtime, if that makes any sense. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed this part, and I love you all so much, and I'll see you all next time, all right? Bye, guys.